What's going on everybody? It's the Hook Cam back again with another film breakdown. Today we're going to be taking a look at Kalechi Osmele, his debut as a Chief and really this Chiefs offensive line in whole. Um, once again, I didn't know that the Chiefs signed him until I saw him on the field and I was like, that is an absolutely phenomenal free agent signing uh, from the Kansas City Chiefs. He is a very high level guard. I think that he did some incredible things last Thursday. NFL needs to get their, their act together too, by the way. I had to wait almost an entire week to get this game film right here. So hopefully that doesn't continue throughout the season because I like getting you guys the game film as soon as possible. Now, before I dive into all this, first and foremost, I want to say thank you guys for uh, supporting so far. It's been a really cool, you know, just first week of the season. I've had a very strong, uh, strong supporting group. Um, a lot of really cool comments. So I'm just going to keep giving you guys content, man. Thank you for everything. Um, now, course i gotta say this if you could hit that like button hit that subscribe button to my channel if you haven't already that would mean the world to me obviously my channel is the hook cam so go ahead hit that subscribe button hit that like button and uh with all that being said let's go ahead and dive on into this film breakdown kalechi osmele playing right here is playing uh left guard for the kansas city chiefs this play in and of itself is why this dude is so valuable to this football team so what the chiefs are going to run right here is just a really simple inside zone okay so we're working out right here working here right working right here with our center we're stepping down into this gap with this guard and really this is the the position that i want to highlight with this play because a lot of times with this step is you have guards and you see it at the high school and college level where they take a quick step in their upfield right now and what happens happens with that is this guy gets too far upfield and then when we have a situation like this where a stunt comes in this plays dead for a gain of two maybe even a loss of yardage now osmele has been in the league for a minute right he's a good football player he's a vet he knows what he's doing so he has patience with this and this is really a, a, an attribute to the chiefs coaching staff um for getting him right and just him as a football player because there's a lot of guys out there who would take this and they're working up to that backer right now and this play's done but 70 doesn't do that. 70 does a really good job of staying nice and square, right? We have our eyes into our gap right here, and we're working up and we're picking up that twist. And this is really just an absolute all-star awareness play. Um, and this is how you really defeat inside zone as a defense, because you can really, really mess up offensive line, uh, offensive line combos, techniques, everything. But this is just a phenomenal job from 70. We work up right here. We stuff that twist in its tracks, and then we let CEH do the rest of this thing, man. Just his, uh, his elusiveness is incredible. Uh, I've made a number of videos on him now, uh, and he really has proven to be a phenomenal first-round pick, at least in his first game. Let's give the kid a little bit, though. He does have a couple more games to go here before we're saying he's a, just the, the stud that I think he is. So, bringing us to play two right here, this is going to be another inside zone. This time, the only difference is we're getting a wham from Travis Kelsey. Really good job on this, by the way. Really good job with this wham. Uh, does a good job staying nice and tight to the line of scrimmage, not letting any depth in between uh, him and the backs of the offense of linemen but really what i want to point out is the combo between these two this is like an absolute dream right here they both step down once again that patience that awareness right if he gets friction i believe the rule for them would be that he turns out on this he doesn't get friction and he works up right as soon as he starts working up right he gets into that gap okay now it's time to go same thing with osmele right same thing but it's the patience that i think is so key with this they work up and they get a combo on the second level like this thing was drawn up that way I mean, this is absolutely incredible. The way that you teach it just up on a whiteboard is we're working up to the backer here. We're working up to this one tech. We're working a combo really to the mic who would be out here, I believe, unless the safety creeps down. Then we're working out, out with our right tackle and our right guard. We're whamming the end man on the line of scrimmage. Now this nose tackle is working across the face of the center as we can see, boom. Now Osmele doesn't chase that, right? He doesn't chase that. He does a good job staying pat, working up field, and working up to that inside linebacker right there. Really good job from both left tackle and left guard on that play. Once again, the awareness, the coaching from the Kansas City Chiefs is just phenomenal. It's next level, and you see it with every snap that they do. Now, this next play might be his best on the day. So what the Chiefs are going to run here is wide zone, okay? Now, whenever a guard has a three-tech to reach on wide zone, which is exactly what 70's dealt here, right? We have a three-tech. He's lined up on the outside shoulder uh, of 70, right, of us, uh, of Osmele, right? Maybe in the gap, whatever you want to call it. Regardless, this is a tough reach to do. Right, ideally what you want is he wants his helmet to that play side shoulder, right? He does a really good job with the bucket step to start. Right now, a bucket step is when you take your foot and you're gonna place it behind where you are, you're losing ground. Now you lose ground in order to get a better angle to work over there, right? But this three tech isn't just a, an average three tech. This is an NFL defensive lineman, he knows what he's doing. So as soon as he sees this reach, he's gonna fight it, right? Boom, he's gonna work and he's gonna keep working, trying to work down the line of scrimmage this way. Now Osmele did a great job with his helmet, great job with his hand 
hands, great job with his positioning, everything, to get in front of that, right? Now, we just reached a 3-tech. I, I can't stress to you guys how hard that is to do, right? I'll, really, unless you've done it, it, it's hard to sit there and be like, uh, yeah, that's really difficult. Th this is really tough to do because as quick as everybody's going off the snap, your steps have to be perfect, your aiming point, everything has to be perfect. The thing that I really love about this is where his hands are, right? His helmet placement and where his outside hand is on that outside shoulder pad. Just a phenomenal job. And then, of course, that turn at the end is just a, a thing of beauty, right? We're working our butt to the running back. Great job. And we can see the hole that opens up right here uh, for CEH as he picks up a, a big first down. I believe this was on third down, third and short. But again, you can just see the athleticism. You can see how good this dude is um, when it comes to plays like that, how much of a technician he is and how, how much he helps his Chiefs offensive line. Now, this play is going to be Clyde's uh, touchdown run. Really simple stuff here. Once again, just inside zone. The way they run this is really, really interesting to me. And, and I don't, I'm not, not going to lie, hand up. I don't know the exact schematics of it because it looks like from this side over, they're trying to sell almost like a wide zone, right? See, we're working out here. They're kind of staying pat with their tackles, though. They're not exactly selling all of this, um, moving to the right. Good job from the center, just locking up, right, and, and working that guy out. But really, what's so interesting about this to me is that. That it looks like they're designing this to hit this backside B gap. And so when we watch from Osmaley, that, that patience that he has in order to let that D tackle come to him, and then he does a good job of working that momentum and just carrying him over into this gap, right? So really what you've created from the Chiefs perspective is you've created a one-on-one -on -one matchup with your running back and this linebacker. And like I've been saying since uh, 25 has been drafted, the Chiefs since Clyde's been drafted, is I'm going to take this dude in a one-on-one -on -one matchup with basically anybody else in the NFL, right? And the other reason why this play kind of trips me up is because of Eric Fisher steps right here. He steps down and almost looks like he's about to backside hinge. He just kind of floats in this gap. And he's got his eyes on this defensive end. I'm thinking maybe if this defensive end drops off, he's going to work up. But he's got his eyes on him the whole time, just works out. And we create this gap right in the middle of this defense. It is a phenomenal job. And once again, you create that one-on-one -on -one matchup with Clyde and that linebacker. And we're off to the races and uh, the rookie's first touchdown. So the last clip that I want to show to you guys is just this really simple pass pro clip from Kletchi Osmele. The, the Chiefs did a really good job of, of working their quick game into their first uh, first game for the season with no preseason. You, you know they're going to try and make things easy even though it's Pat. They're not going to run a ton of you know deep downfield routes just in case. You don't know what could happen and you don't want to put the, the complexity of that offense all on week one. Install what you need to install. Let's go from there. They did a really good job with all of their quick game stuff. So what we're getting from here uh, offensively looking at this defense, we got three guys lined up to the outside of us now one of them eventually drops right which is 41 now you got to know pre-snap you got to assume that one or both of these cats are coming i would imagine that they know that he's going to be manned up just from based off of film before what i really like about this is just the communication pre-snap and again it's not anything that's absolutely insane it's just good to see right they're going to end up rushing this cat into this b gap and then this the defensive back really upfield just a good job from osmaley working out there and then the technique once he makes contact is phenomenal it is a really good job of working nose to nose which all that means is you want to be centered up with this guy you can see he makes contact he's right down his midline great job with his arms getting ready to punch really good job love the re-rack of the hands might be a little bit quicker um but again just phenomenal pass pro from this dude and all around just a phenomenal game from the chiefs offensive line so anyway guys that's going to be the last clip for this thing i hope you guys enjoyed hope you found it informative um if you did if you could hit that like button hit that subscribe button that would mean the world to me as well as the jackson kruger sports i'm sure this will end up over on his channel as well so anyway guys hope you enjoyed it uh, i'm sure i'll be back next week for uh checking out the chiefs wherever they play i can't quite remember off the top of my head so anyway hope everybody's staying safe washing those hands and i'll see you next time